Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler. I'm an astrologer. So I want to show you um, uh, this week was a big birthday, a huge birthday for a Canadian superstar in Canadian history, uh, in the world among celebrities uh, in, in particular. And so it was yesterday, actually, Brian Adams. Brian Adams celebrated a birthday yesterday and a pretty big one there, uh, a pretty big one too. So I'm going to show you his uh, natal chart. So this is the birth chart of Brian Adams. I just had the, the date of birth in the, that's Kingston, Ontario is where he was born, November the 5th, 1959. Now, today, uh, today's November the 6th, so uh, today's November the 6th, 2019, so it, it was yesterday, was his birthday. So I thought this was a perfect example to show you the authenticity about the nakshatras, uh, because his son, his sun sign nakshatra is, uh, so here's a sun sign. So basically, it's right at the end of Virgo. And I would say it's just entering the constellation of Libra. There it is right there. Now, his time of his date of birth, um, it, it says on the website Astro theme here, it says his, here it is right here, just to show you the proof. Thursday, November 5th, 50, 1959. So his time of birth is unknown. Maybe he knows, uh, he probably knows it, but if uh, Astro theme does not. So... But in either event, his sun sign, I took a look at it, and it looks very... So there's his sun. Now, that's where his sun is located. So which nakshatra is that? And I'll show you the proof right here. So this is the chart that I did up, where I've outlined where the nakshatra, each of the nakshatras are. And there it is right there. So he is right at the beginning of, that's Favonius. That is, um, uh, that is Swati Nakshatra. Okay, so Swati is the Hindu name. Favonius is the Greek name, which is named by uh, Jade Sol Luna. Or Jade Sol Luna, who's, he's the, um, of AusterianAstrology.com. So Favonius is Swati nakshatra favonius is the greek name Num the number 15 nakshatra so those who have a sun this is just uh, kim Gar kardashian's example natal chart it's uh, it's her example natal chart but his brian adams the legendary canadian singer icon his son is right at the beginning of favonius now what's interesting about that is it's basically the first quarter of Favoni of Swati. Um, so it's actually the first pada of Swati is the pada is the nakshatra pada of Sagittarius. So he's actually a Sagittarius sun in in theory. Uh, they don't mention about the no you don't hear much about the nakshatra padas, but. If we were to go by Nakshatra Padas and not the constellations, he would be a Sagittarius sun. Personally, I think that would make a lot of sense about him. Because you read about Sagittarius, the description, you know, of a Sagittarius sun person, and he he fits all the description of it. So, and that the the sign of Sagittarius is the first quarter of Swati or the first uh, uh, Nakshatra Pada of Swati. Okay, so I will show you, I want to show you those born with a son in Swati, or Fav Favoni, again, Favonius is the Greek name, Swati is the Hindu name. Okay, so this is uh, the info on, this is the information about Swati on AusterianAstrology.com by Jade Sol Luna. So, this palace is concerned with air, wind, breeze, or knowledge of the of Ether, the, the abode of air. Favonius can, or Swati, uh, Favonius is the same as Swati, again. 
uh, can be des destructive unless one learns how to use the energy of the pals to remove negativity. So I'll I'll just um, I'll just fast forward down, and this is amazing what it says. So those who have a swati sun sign. Uh, the sun in the the palace indicates someone who is musical, artistic, creative, intuitive, and psychic. Now, does that not say a lot about Brian Adams? I would definitely say so. So there, this is this is pretty authentic. How you know this shows the true authenticity of the nakshatras, in my opinion. So they have good business and financial skills. Yep, that's him. And they're good communicators, and they are good learners, knowledgeable, curious, and flexible in their approach to things. They can be, uh, the shadow side, they can be vulnerable, but are good survivors. However, they can also be impatient, restless, and fickle. So, I go by Mastering the Zodiac. So, if you combine Mastering the Zodiac, the Mastering the Zodiac birth chart, and Austerian astrology or the the 27 nakshatra stars um so this this it actually shows brian adams uh his sun sign nakshatra to be at the very beginning of swati and the first pot of swati which is the nakshatra pot of sagittarius and i would definitely assume that he that brian adams although his Although his birth time is unknown, I would definitely I would definitely bet that he was born during the day because those born during the day when the sun is in power, uh, that would mean that their sun sign is the strongest of theirs. So whatever their sun sign is, is primarily who they are. And is so whichever nakshatra and nakshatra pada their sun is in when they're born during the day is the nakshatra and the nakshatra pada that they are. So, and, uh, and of course, his is Sagittarius of Swati, I believe. And I just want to show you a bit of, of a description on the sign of Sagittarius as well. And that is, it's described here too. Sagittarius is ninth sign of the zodiac, a fire sign ruled by Jupiter. Its symbol is the centaur archer. Those born here tend to have a positive outlook on life. While they have a strong sense of law, justice, and what is right, they are also very optimistic and altru altruistic. The friendly manner of Sagittarians make them good companions, and they are interested in the betterment of the whole. So this definitely describes Brian Adams to a T. So I think he most likely would have been born during the day when the sun was in power, which would make him uh, a swatty a swatty sun. And if we were to go by Nakshatra Padas, it's in the first Pada of Swati, which is the Pada of Sagittarius. Thanks again for watching, guys. All the best and God bless.